Laya. But we talked a lot about Obi-Wan. We talked about him the years have not been strong to him. He yes. is not strong. He can't fight Vader. He's doing yeah. two hands holding back one light attack from Vader, and Vader's toying with him. So I mentioned it before. He has to train. He has to do something to be able to be strong enough to contend because we saw him in the regular trilogy able to keep up with Vader for a little bit before he magically whisked away, which I still am not a fan of that particularly. Yeah. But how do we think he's going to get stronger? Do you think he's going to like just do a training montage? He's going to be hitting dummies or something? Do you think he's <laughs> going to reconnect his abilities with the Force? What do you think is uh, going to happen? Yeah, I think he has to fully allow himself to open up to the Force again. I, I don't think a Jedi's power completely leaves them at all. I know it would definitely help if he had some time to train with his lightsaber. I think it's all going to rely on on his connection with the Force and if he could get to Qui-Gon Jinn through the Force. I think that's his next move. I think he just got really badly hurt in this last episode physically. And it's not just Vader. The Inquisitors are after him. The Empire is after him. He's not going to be able to clumsily shoot stormtroopers and get out of every scenario. He's going to need to be able to wield that lightsaber again. And I think part of that is opening up to not only, you know, stuff that Leia has been saying, right? Like, oh, not everyone's bad. Realizing that there are people that are there to help the Jedi, which you realize in that bunker, right? Yeah. I think all of those things will have to culminate into him kind of accepting this new role that he's never been able to accept because of the self-deprecation, because of the depression, the stuff with Anakin, that he's Vader. All of that has to be released, and I think he gets there through talking to the ghost of Qui-Gon Jinn, which I think will show up. I think that'd be really cool. I think that would be a nice ice cream topper to the cake. Yes. That's the only thing that makes sense, because even before in the prequels, these are not the droids you're looking for. Like, he yep. can mess with people's heads, and he's not doing that now. Yep. He's been shut off for the Force for so long because he feels mm -hmm. guilty. I think this is going to be the path of him forgiving himself to move forward to do all this other stuff. I would love to see that. And I would even go a step further, Rob, and say, oh. because this is a six-episode series right now, guys, we usually know the penultimate episode is the one right before the finale, right? Episode five is probably going to be the coup de grace. Sure. I think episode four has a big chance of being not only his connection to Qui-Gon, oh, yeah. but him rectifying all of his past mistakes and getting over it. Qui-Gon taking him on like a force journey, per se, through Clone Wars flashbacks, through a, maybe Ahsoka flashbacks, seeing the stuff as, you know, Anakin grew up, what went wrong, and getting over that so that he can be ready to take on the Inquisitors and Vader in this final showdown to save Leia and bring her back to 